Okay, so once again with this paper, part C of the question is the thinking part, so it's slightly tricky a bit. Now it tells us the nth term of the series is un, given that uk is greater than zero and uk plus one is less than zero, find the value of the sum from one to k of un. And what's this basically saying? It wants us to find the sum of the series, and that un is the series, from the first term, that's what the one at the bottom means, to the kth term. But the problem with that is we don't yet know what k is, which is why they've given us this piece of information here. And what they're actually saying is the kth term, so we get up to k, is greater than zero. And greater than zero means it's positive. And what they're also saying is the k plus 1, so the next term, is less than 0, so it's negative. So basically the saying is, add up all the terms of the sequence that are positive, and once you start getting to negative numbers, stop adding them up. And this works because the common difference is a negative number, we found it was minus 4, so this sequence is going down, and it's eventually going to get into negative numbers. Okay. Well, you might not know where to start, but the first obvious thing is to work out what A is. So you can use either of our um, equations from part A and B. For example, we had that A plus 2D is 115. So A minus 8 is 115. So A is 123. So now we've found A is 123, we can write our nth term formula so that's a plus m minus 1 times the common difference, which is negative 4. Now, what we need to do is find out when, of which number term does this go um, posit positive to negative. Well, we can do it algebraically. First of all, I'll show you how we could do this by trial and improvement. So if you're not sure with the algebra, you can't think in the exam, here's one thing you can do. And what we do is we just try lots of numbers in the formula for k. So, for example, when k is 20, what is the nth term? So, 123 times 20 minus 1. Uh, no, that should be a plus. Yeah, that was probably wrong. So, 123 plus m minus 1 times negative 4. And we get 47. So it's still a positive number. Now, you wouldn't have to try show all of these and write them down. You just have to write the key ones down. So let's try instead 30. 30 gives us 7. Okay, let's try um, 35. That gives us minus 13. So let's try 33. That gives us a negative number. Let's try 32. So when k is 32 or when is 32, we get a negative number. Let's try 31, and that's a positive number. So if you were doing this in the exam, you wouldn't need to write these ones down. But the important one is you'd have to write down that when k equals 31, that we get 3 in the sequence. And when k equals 32, we get negative 1. And that means this is the point where it goes from positive to negative, which is what we were looking for. So that means that k must be 31, because that's the last positive term in the sequence. How will we do that with equations? Well, if we're going to do that algebraically, what we need to do is actually write an inequality. So we know uk is greater than 0, and uk plus 1 is less than 0. So let's do the nth term formula with k. So 123 plus k minus 1 times negative 4 is greater than 0. That means 
that that way. So 123, negative 4 times k, negative 1 times negative 4, is greater than 0. Oh, oops, k. Okay. Which means negative 4k is greater than negative 127. So you do 123 plus 4 and then move it to the other side. And that means that k, we do 127, there are 4. Yep, so that's 31.75. Now at this point we're going to divide by negative 4, which means we change the sign in the inequality. Remember when you divide by negative numbers. So k is less than 31.75. We also need to check for what the other inequality gives us. So uk plus 1 is less than 0, so 123 plus k plus 1 is n minus 1 times negative 4 is less than 0. So 123 plus k times, times negative 4 is less than 0. So 123 minus 4k is less than 0, 123 is less than 4k, so 123 divided by 4 is 30.75, no negative here so the sign stays, so k is greater than 30.75. Now if you combine those two facts, k is bigger than 37.5 and smaller than 31.75, k must be equal 31. So either method gets you that k equals 31. Once we've done that, we can apply it to the question. So the question wanted us to do the sum from n equals 1 to k of the series. So we want the sum from n equals 1 to 31 of our series. <coughs> Well, that's just the case now of using the summing up formula, S for sum. Um, again, we could, if you've worked out what the last term is, you could use it. You can use either form, but the one you'll probably use is a half n 2a plus m minus 1 times d. So the sum is going to be a half times, we're going from 1 to 31, so it's 31 terms. 2 times the first term is the first term, which is 123, plus we're doing 31 terms, and the common difference is minus 4. So you then work all that out, and you get 1,953.